Thank you so much. Good evening, everyone. Myself, Lovepreet Verma. I'm the founder of Vineyard English, and I have a group of experts. Uh, this demo will take approximately 35 to 40 minutes, in which I will describe you what services will provide, and will discuss writing task two in detail, how to get higher rank. If you guys would have any question in between, you can ask me at any point of time. So guys, we are the first institute in India having PhD English experts in our team and all our trainer are IDP and BC certified. So you're going to get training from certified trainers only. What happens with the normal companies, they hire students who achieve six each or seven each. So normally IELTS centers or company hire those freshers like students turn into trainers, but we do not hire freshers. We hire only experts. So you're going to get training from experts only. Live Zoom instructor led classes will be there on everyday basis. Sirat, is my voice is audible? Screen is visible to yeah. you? Yeah. Okay, great. We, ju we just started. Uh, you didn't miss much. Okay. So just uh, I would request all of you three to stay till the end. It will be beneficial for you. It will add knowledge to your uh, IELTS criteria. So every day, Live class will be there one and a half hour to one or 45 minute class will be there instructor led and Monday to Friday classes will be there Saturday. There will be mock test Sunday. We share resource material and your trainer will be certified mobile application will provide you in which you can review your own recorded sessions. That means if for an example, if you're going to 10 class today, it's going to be recorded at the back end and you will be able to review it by tomorrow. So next day you will be able to see your own recordings. Plus you will be able to see almost 200 previous recordings from different sessions. So you can explore all the recordings of our you know, classes. You can learn from that stuff as well. One practice test account we will provide you in which you can attempt 160 practice test. I will show you this account in upcoming slides. This practice test account dedicated mobile will provide you if you don't have laptop or computer still you will be able to operate this practice account on your mobile. Regular assignments will be there regular feedback will be there five full length mock test we're going to provide you. This is the kind of account that we're going to provide you guys it will be activated for six months I'm going to show you the live interface just give me a second please. Is this screen is visible to all of you three? It says Verma here, win your English logo here. Priyanka, yes. Sandeep, Rajiv. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. So after the enrollment, we will give you this account, username and password, and it will be activated for six months. Whether you're going to register for one month or two months with us, we'll provide you the material for six months. If you click on online test, you will see two domains over there, IELTS Academic, IELTS journal, you will have access to both of the sites, both of the domain. If you click on IELTS academic, you will be able to see academic full length mock test. Every mock test will have all the modules. It will take approximately 152 minutes to attempt. 82 questions will be there. Just like real IELTS experience you're going to be have. Once you will attempt it, first listening will start. Once you will finish listening, reading will start. Once you will finish reading, the writing will start. And once you will attempt the entire mock test, you will be able to see the analysis over there. In this analysis, you will be able to see how many wrong you did, how many right, right you did, what was uh, the right question. So you can also see the question wise answers, how many right or wrong you did. So for an example, you, you know, make 53rd wrong, you will be able to see the right answer and why it's right. You will be see the entire analysis. If you click on academic readings, five sections will be there. Every section further contains five academic readings. Every test is time bounded test, 40 minutes, 60 questions. So time will start once you will start any test. Similarly, uh, over here, you would find five into five, 25 academic readings. If you click on listening, there would be 25 listenings. You can attempt even one listening every day. And this material will be entirely unique material. You will not find 
even a single test in any book not even in cambridge entire material is totally a fresh it's a copyright material material of our company now if you click on academic uh, writing again you will find five sections every section going to be have five writing test task and every task going to be have two question writing task 1 and writing task 2 So five into two, ten. Ten into five, fifty. You're going to be have fifty academic writing task here. Similarly, you can attempt speaking here. And in the similar case, if you click on journal, you would have five journal mock test, twenty-five journal readings, twenty-five listenings, and then fifty writing journal writing task. So if your grammar is weak, guys, you can click on challenge zone. You can enhance your grammatical skills by exploring all these grammatical concepts. Apart from this, this is the resource account, which we will provide you access for six month as a complimentary in the package. Now, second thing, if you go to our website winyourenglish.com in the download section, you will be able to find a mobile application. in this app after the enrollment we will provide you a license key once you will fill the license key if you are a student of uh, academic you will be able to see academic videos if you are a student of journal you will be able to see your own videos plus previous sessions now coming back to the presentation guys now i covered that three unique thing that we provide which none of the com companies providing first is you going to get idp or bc certified trainer second this account for 6 month this application for 6 month as well any doubt until this point guys priyanka rajiv sandeep no sir you can continue no no, no sir okay thank you all right so guys uh, this is kind of schedule for our classes from monday till friday we provide classes 1 and 1/2 hour to 1 hour 45 minute class will be there speaking will be there on every day basis it's one to one kind of speaking no group discussion you're going to get the speaking feedback right away in the class plus writing task assignment you're going to get every day you're going to get feedback for that every day other modules will be shuffled every day two to three module will be covered in a in a class plus every day you're going to get some sort of vocabulary 5 to 10 words so that you can integrate those words into your writing and speaking saturday there will be mock test all the four module will be tested and your performance will be evaluated by our experts sunday we share blogs study material videos tips so that we can add value to your learning apart from this we will support you till the your exam it's not like that you will take one month coaching and after that we won't help you we will help you at each and every step until you will get your bands if you would need extra material we have plenty of material we'll support you at each and every point even we'll do a uh, student ways or peer counseling free of cost now this is how our trainer evaluate each and every task you will be allotted one one whatsapp group focus whatsapp group in which your trainer will be there we have small groups very disciplined groups we do not give admission to non sincere students so once you will receive any assignment in your group you will write it down on your paper or in the ms word then you will share in the group then your trainer will pick up that assignment or mark you as per idp and bc standards like task achievement coherence and cohesion lexical resource grammatical range and accuracy so every task is going to be assessed on these pillars which is being assessed by the idp and bc because on norm on you know regular basis we attend idp and bc's uh, seminar even we are business partner of idp so we know these things in detail now i will show you how our listening is going to be there in the classes guys so in every listening class first 5 to 10 minutes your trainer will describe you what type of listening questions will be there where to focus where not to focus if you would have certain queries question like you are having di facing difficulty solving math kind of question you can ask your trainer i'm having this kind of difficulty then he or she will explain you the logic behind it once tips and tricks will be covered 
your trainer will ask you to write down one to 14 numbers on your notepad on your notepad so that you can write down answers simultaneously so once you will write down one to 14 numbers this kind of listening will be played to you i'm going to play it just for 30 seconds guys just li listen and update me i'm going to play it for just 30 seconds listen carefully in the group who don't eat meat Before you hear the rest of the podcast, I haven't seen it. It was based on Shakespeare's King Lear, wasn't it? That's right. It was a very king in acoustics might be very different from you in that. All right, guys, was that audible to you? All of you? Priyanka, Rajiv, Sandeep. Was that audible to you, all of you? No, sir. Okay, no. let me play it again. Okay. Let me play it again. That regard. Is there anything I need to know about the food you eat? We usually have one or two people in the group who do parts of the city. As its name suggests, there was originally a market here where farmers brought their sheep. But now it's been redeveloped into a buzzing, vibrant area of the city. Presentation. I thought that. Okay, was it audible, guys? Yes, so, sir. Okay, what about Priyanka and Rajiv? Yes, yes. Okay. All right. So, guys, this kind of listening will be played once you will write down one to forty numbers on your notepad, and once the listening, you will see the listening. You will find the answer simultaneously. You will write down all the answers from 1 to 40 on your notepad. Once you will write down all the answers, the real answers will be shown to you by the trainer. And he or she will dictate you all the answers from 1st till 40th. If you would have any question or query, for an example, 26th, you got C instead of A. You can ask your trainer that I got C why it is a then he or she will go back to 26th question and explain you the logic behind it that why it is a and why it is not c now uh, why i'm saying this that you can discuss each and everything with your trainer in the class now similarly on the reading day first five to ten minutes you're going to get the tips and training what type of reading questions will be there in the real IELTS exam where to focus, where not to focus, how to attempt. After that, this kind of reading screen will be shown to you. You will do three to four readings of this, this type on the reading day. First, your trainer will explain you how to read the instructions because it is very important. After that, how to read the questions, how to mark the keywords. Once you will read the questions, you will be given 10 minutes, 8 to 10 minutes to read the paragraph. Once you will read the paragraph 8 to 10 minutes, in a 8 to 10 minutes, you will come up with the answers. Then the real answers will be shown to you by the trainer. And still, if you would have any query or question, for an example, 12th, you got A instead of E, you can ask your trainer, I got A and why it is E. Then he or she will get, go back to 12th question and explain you the logic behind it, why it is E and why it is not A. So that this is a special thing that we have integrated that you would have full freedom to ask your trainer about your queries. Now, now we'll discuss the writing task too, guys, how to get more than seven bands. Until this point, any doubt? No. Rajiv, Priyanka? No, no, no. Sorry. What about Priyanka? Priyanka, all clear? Okay. All right, guys. So it's a pain area for many that how to get higher bands in writing. Many students just struggle a lot with the writing and speaking section. We putting some extra emphasis on these two modules. So we have observed and analyzed that there are four pillars, four parameters on which your writing score is going to be assessed. Task achievement and response 
coherence and cohesion, lexical resource, grammatical range and accuracy. Now, what is task achievement and response? Task achievement and response implies how you're going to achieve the task, how you're going to respond to the task, what type of structure you're going to use, whether you're going to write down all the parameters of writing task two or not. Parameter means, for an example, as introduction alone has three parts, background information or journal comment, paraphrase the statement plus thesis statement. If you miss any of these three, you will not get the full bands of task achievement and response. If you will write it down less than 250 words, again, you will not get the full bands of task achievement and response. If you will not answer relevantly or to the point, if you derogated from the topic, still you will not get the full bands of task achievement and response. Coherence and cohesion implies a perfect linkage between paragraphs as well as lines. An ideal writing task too must be linked properly from the very first line of the introduction till the last line of the paragraph. Lexical resource means, sorry, coherence and cohesion. In this section, you have to write down linkers, connectors, furthermore, moreover, besides, and in addition to that, additionally, firstly, secondly, thirdly, this kind of structure will be getting higher bands. Lexical resource means what type of vocabulary you're going to use, whether you're going to use high vocabulary word or low vocabulary word. Some students just use high vocabulary word. They even don't know the exact meaning of the word. Then they, you know, that words ultimately change or alter the meaning of entire passage. They end up with low bands. So we will not use any vocabulary that will, that we are not sure of. Grammatical range and accuracy implies what type of sentence structure you're going to use, whether you're going to use a simple sentence, compound sentence, complex sentence or complex compound sentence. Even punctuation matters, guys. Even uh, if you write down in passive voice, you do comparison that these things will be comprised in grammatical range and accuracy. Now, every pillar is having zero to nine bands. If you get seven bands here in task achievement and response, eight in coherence and cohesion, six in lexical resource, 6.5 in grammatical range and accuracy, then the average of these four will be your band scores of writing task to band score. Now we teach all our students how to treat these all pillars individually in the classes. Now, this is the writing task essays. These are the type of essays. Any one type of essay would come in the real IELTS exam. Opinionating essays will be their advantage, disadvantage essays, discussion essays, problem solution essays, direct question essays. Every kind of essays having its unique treatment. We cannot apply just one treatment to all of the essays. No, we teach all our students how to treat these essays individually. Now, this is a high band structure, guys. You can take screenshot of it if you want. If you will follow this structure, you'll definitely get more than seven bands. This is the simplest structure. As I said, introduction has three parts. Background information or journal comment plus paraphrase the statement plus thesis statement. Now, what is background information? Background information is basically tell something about the topic in the past. For an example, in yesteryears or in previous years, people used to wear simple clothes, but with the advent of modernization and globalization, masses tend to wear sophisticated clothing. So we have defined the scenario from the past till the present. On certain topic, it's hard to find out the background information due to sensitivity of time in that scenario we can write down journal comment. Journal comment is just like nowadays people tend to wear sophisticated clothing going to modernization and globalization. That's it. Plus paraphrase the topic. Paraphrase implies you need to convert the question into your own words. You cannot write down the exact question in the introduction. No. So you have to select some words, convert the topic and write down in the introduction. Some people believe that others are against this, just like that plus thesis statement. Thesis statement is a great indicator to the reader that what we're going to write down in further body paragraph. I am going to discuss this 
topic in subsequent paragraphs or in upcoming paragraph. That is a thesis statement. It also links the introduction with the body paragraph. So it works as a linker. As I said, coherence and cohesion is very important. So it works as a coherence and cohesion as well. Now in body paragraph, most of the students do mistake in body paragraph. What they do? They write down so many points, but they fail to elaborate the point. They fail to justify the point. These are the two main things which IDP and BC people are looking forward. So they, they don't want us to write down 10, 15, 20 points. No, they just want us to write down one point in one paragraph. They want us to explain it well, elaborate it well. They want us to support it with the example, justify with the example. I'll show you this thing in upcoming slides, how to do that. In conclusion, you need to write down the entire gist of the essay, crux of the essay. You can also rephrase your opinion. Whatever you have written here in the introduction, you can rephrase it with, with different words. First, you will paraphrase, then you will rephrase. An entire writing task too should not be less than 250 words. If it would have 249 words, still it, you're going to be penalized. And uh, don't go beyond 300 words. Otherwise, uh, grammatical errors, maybe you would get more grammatical errors. So keep it 260 to 280. Some people might be thinking how to count words. You may count, you may count just one line. If, if your one line has 10 words and you have written 26 lines, you would be on the safer side. Now, guys, this is a brainstorming activity. I want all of you to participate. Don't leave the class. Most of the people leave class when this activity, we come to this activity. It will be of your benefit. So I will let you know why we have integrated it. Basically, as per our research, because we have research scholars in our team, PhD people in our team, we have done intensive research when student go and face real IELTS examination, they feel blank over there, like points are not coming to their mind. To overcome this kind of disability, we have integrated many activities in our sessions. So brainstorming is the one of those activities in which once in which you will do, you know, some sort of activities on daily basis, your trainer will help you to generate content. We'll do this activity right now. So with the help of this activity, your brain will you know, start functioning in the same direction. You will start generating content and you would have enough content in the real health exam. So our students are getting wonderful band because of the, these kind of activities. This is a real question which came into real health exam. In some countries, many more people are choosing to live alone nowadays than in the past. Do you think this is a positive or negative development that people are choosing to live alone. Now, imagine yourself, guys, you're living alone in Canada on student visa or as an immigrant, you're living alone. What would be the advantages of living alone? Now you will tell me and I will write it down. Just points, not lines. Advantages of living alone. Yes, please unmute all of you Priyanka, Sandeep, Rajiv. Yes, please. First advantage, just imagine yourself, use the power of imagination. Advantages of living alone. Sir, privacy. Very good point, sir. One can enjoy full freedom and full privacy. Sir, peace of mind. Very good point. So peace of mind will be there. No disturbance. Peace of mind, no disturbance, no restrictions. No stress. No stress. Uh, a stress well stress is in another issue but no restrictions no permissions right no permissions right yeah. yeah yeah one can have you know one can have stress even living alone so next point guys very good point rajiv sandeep um, just imagine yourself you're living alone in canada what would be the advantages? First advantage, you will enjoy full freedom, full privacy, peace of mind. Then? Exposed to new cultures, exposed to new things. New things, yeah. new cultures, new people, right? 
add a yeah. finan- financial I- point as well guys one will learn how to one will learn how to manage funds right yeah. one yeah. will one will learn how to you know earn money how to spend money how to save money so budget management skills will come into the place right yeah. what are another skills one will learn new skills such as okay we learn about new skills new, new culture no and what skills what skills one can learn rajiv you tell or sandeep sir cooking very good point sir you imagined yourself huh yeah <laughs> this was i was looking for that's why i didn't ask priyanka for this because priyanka uh, knew it so cooking right so book for boys it's cooking, yes, cooking. another sir sir it also for me because i'm away from my home oh you are away from home then you are cooking see most of the girls know how to cook food but uh you know less boys i mean boys don't know not much boys know how to cook food so when they go away from their family then they realize this is very essential skill so they learn yeah. this they they see youtube and other sources to you know imbibe such skills so yes cooking cleaning of house right yes correct washing cloth cleaning house basic things guys one will learn new skills those we don't even care about in our house right so managing budget buying grocery right such such basic things okay what will to be the household well without parents yeah so one will learn how to do things you know how to manage that kind of situation alone yeah. and uh, another point advantage of living alone one will learn new hobbies such as you know dancing swimming singing reading even meditation right ah yeah. and another advantage we can say uh, one will learn the v- true value of family because when yeah. so- sometime we live with the family we don't worth the family we don't realize how family is important and when we are living apart from the family we come to know how family is important to us like how they were supporting us so, you know when we lose something or we you know apart from the things we learn it so learn the true value of family or worth of the family okay all right good enough now guys tell me the biggest disadvantage of living alone stress stress okay stress yes sorry stress yes good point so we can say homesickness most of the student and immigration they feel homesickness due to homesickness they feel loneliness loneliness due yes. to loneliness people fall into depression right depression or bad company so guys in this way we have to link the ideas remember coherence and cohesion so some i mean people feel homesickness due to homesickness people you know feel loneliness due to loneliness they may fall into depression or bad company see this is the linkage of ideas so we will write down only those point in the you know exam which we can elaborate well which we can justify well because every topic has thousands of points we'll not write down all we'll write down only those point mm-hmm. which you will think which will think we will justify right okay what is the second disadvantage of living alone yes guys just imagine yourself priyanka you are experiencing is it alright Yeah. Yeah, just imagine. I always I always miss the moment with my family. Yeah, that family. is that is homesickness, right? Yeah. Yeah. What is another point? <laughs> you have to do all things alone? No, I can't do alone all the things. Yeah, so lack we of We want actually we want support of family here. Yes. So disadvantage is hmm disadvantage is of living alone is lack of family support right so no one will be there to help in case of even emergency we have to manage ourselves yeah as you know covid 19 happened and those who were living alone they know how difficult it was yeah so no one will be 
will be there in case of emergency that is the disadvantage of living disadvantage of living uh, also touch the financial sector guys just think about it what we can write down financial crisis yeah. yeah in 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 family two three earning members would be there they share the expenses but those who living alone they have to pay each and everything alone so sometime people may fall you know fall into financial crisis okay next point rajiv they uh, they they need to manage all the i mean everything if you are alone, alone yeah. very good yeah no one will be there no one will be there to help right yes. all home chores alone everything one has to do each and everything alone right somehow lack of safety is there if he or she is living alone and bad people come to know they may attack right Correct. so yeah. lack of safety yeah lack of financial help somehow somehow um what another point could be there sandeep priyanka so somehow domination of another culture because elders would not be there lack of guidance so domination of another values or culture see if you're living abroad like canada and uh, somehow you i mean some people you know forget their uh, culture and they opt western culture or another culture so somehow this is going to be a disadvantage on the cultural side right yes sir all right guys good enough thank you so much for participating the whole idea behind this activity is to generate content so in the real als real classes your trainer will help you to generate content like this and once you will start generating content you will have enough points in the real als exam now this was the idea to show you this brainstorming activity you will find many activities in our classes now guys i'll explain you the same topic which we choose using this method any question till this point rajiv sandeep priyanka no okay no, no sir okay no no right sir okay in some countries many more people are choosing to live alone nowadays than in the past do you think this is a positive or negative development see this kind of question we can handle in three ways we can write down in positive positive all the paragraph or we can write down in negative ways all the paragraph or we can balance the statement we can say that it has more positive consequences than the few negative ones we can show the extent like 70% negative but 30% uh, sorry 70% positive 30% negatives these days many people choose to live alone especially in metropolitan areas and this rate is for higher in developed countries such as canada and seems like this has become quite normal there see the length of the sentence it is a complex sentence in which we made uh, make a journal comment and paraphrase together now in the question it is being asked do you think this is a positive or negative development it's your opinion asking your opinion we have to answer it in the introduction i believe this trend has more positive consequences than the few negative outcomes it offers so we have showed our intent that what we are thinking let us discuss the topic in detail before reaching to the conclusion this is a thesis line which basically indicate the reader to the body paragraph it also links the introduction with the body paragraph now in the body paragraph what we have to do we write down one point we will explain it well elaborate it well we will cite the example to support our point now the single person family those who live alone we call it single person family is seen to be positive that it is positive on the perspective of those who live alone from kis tarah se positive hai from better personal skill development and economical perspective those who live alone it is positive from two perspective better personal skill development and economical perspective kaise hai how it is better that we going to discuss now that is the part of elaboration 
a single member family those now we shuffle the words from single person family to single member family forces a person to learn some basic skills including cooking cleaning of house paying the utility bills managing personal finance purchasing daily commodities adopting hobbies and many more important skills so in this explanation we have covered the first better how it is better personal skill development so we have covered it till this point now this makes someone self dependent which has a greater impact on the development of the country in a broader sense broader sense means if someone be, someone will become uh, guys there is a background noise i'm going to mute all of you guys okay all right so if one will become self dependent he or she will earn money he or she will pay taxes which will eventually be beneficial for the economical perspective for economical perspective so now we covered economical perspective as well for instance research shows that student who stay away from their homes for their tertiary degrees higher degrees learn more skills and become more self dependent then pupils who study from home so pupil is the synonym of student so here we have shown the comparison of those who live at home study who those who study from home and those who study far from home that those who live far from home become more skillful and self dependent so what we did we write down one point we elaborate that point from this point till this point we write an example to support our main idea see you can make example you can fabricate example it's not like that you have to write an example from any newspaper or journal no you you can make it aap bana sakte hain the idea behind is your example should be supporting to your main point that is the idea behind it now we'll discuss the body paragraph 2 we'll use the same method one point elaboration elaborate it well cite an example from the opposite view point as we have balanced the statement in the first paragraph we have written all the 70% of positives now we'll write down some negatives of it from the opposite view point the trend of increasing single person family has few negative outcomes as well कैसे है क्यों है दैट वी गोइंग टू डिस्कस नाउ हाउ इट इज नेगेटिव द इंक्रीजिंग ट्रेंड ऑफ लिविंग अलॉन्ड हैज अ डायरेक्ट रिलेशनशिप ऑन द परसेंटेज ऑफ पीपल सफर फ्रॉम साइकोलॉजिकल प्रॉब्लम दीज डेज दो लिव अलॉन सफर मोर फ्रॉम साइकोलॉजिकल प्रॉब्लम लिविंग अलॉन क्रिएट्स लोनलीनेस एंड डिप्रेशन वेर एज दो लिव इन फैमिली सेटिंग ऑलवेज फाइंड सम वन टू शेयर देयर सैडनेस एंड स्ट्रेस so again here we have shown the comparison of those who live alone and those who live uh in the family setting so if you show the comparison it's awesome to get higher ranks the isolation isolation is the synonym of loneliness often leads people to choose a lifestyle that is often negative kaise hai for example the recent study reveals that single person family members often rely on drugs and many of them become addicted because no one will be there to stop the human is a social being and living alone is against their natural tendency for many bearing the total expenses is tough and this leads them to got, get involved into crime now in conclusion we need to write down the gist of this here we can rephrase this say to encapsulate at the end to conclude these kind of concluding phrases will be used the number of single person families is increasing in this contemporary era modern era and this has omnifarious omnifarious is the synonym of various this has various positive aspects despite some negative consequences See guys, again we reinforced our idea. Whatever we have written in the introduction, we rephrased it. Initially we paraphrased, then we rephrased it. Hence, one can learn numerous cardinal skills, important skills of life if he or she choose to live alone. So guys, this is the end of writing task. If you have any question, I just describe it using this method. If you have any question, let.
any question priyanka rajiv sandeep unmute yourself please no sir okay and what about no okay no sir priyanka no sir all clear yeah okay great so at the end of every session there will be a speaking practice session in which your trainer will just you know give you this kind of cue card he or she will explain you the method and he or she will explain you how to prepare the topic in less than 1 minute using several techniques spider diagram technique wh family technique and there are other couple of other techniques so guys in real speaking exam the it it lasts from 11 to 14 minute and there would be three section first is journal questions second is cue card third is follow up questions in cue card section this kind of cue card will be given to you and you have to prepare it in less than 1 minute we will teach you how to do that effectively initially basically you have to introduce a topic in one to two lines then quickly you need to cover these bullet points then quickly you need to conclude the topic in with one to two lines after that add a connector like furthermore more over besides additionally and you can extend the topic as much as you want now question here is that student ask many student ask me how to extend the content then i answer it use the power of imagination now we teach all our students how to use the power of imagination guys it is very simple if you if the examiner would ask you to describe your city or town you can describe it as toronto melbourne you know michigan just name your town now if someone would ask me to describe my town i would say i live at ludhiana it is a cosmopolitan we have a beautiful lake on the southern side where people love to visit in the evening we have world's renowned university in our city we have world's oldest church in our city and our city is having perfect infrastructure just like that whether the oldest church is there in my city or not still i can say that examiner is not going to check the facts of the conversation he is going to check the your fluency your sentence structure your vo vocabulary source and how you going to attempt the topic your confidence level everything is going to be tested so this is how we teach our all students every day basis so uh, guys this is the end of uh, the demo class i showed you everything i showed you how readings will be there in our classes how listenings will be there in our classes how feedback is there schedule uh, this kind of app we provide this kind of digital account will provide and these are the usps unique selling proposition that we have then the none of the company in the world providing these many services in the ielts domain we are the first with god's grace and our students are getting wonderful bands one more thing i would like to show you guys just uh, google about our brand if you go to google just type win your english i'm just showing it to you to check the authenticity win your english we are registered if you will see this mark from the google we are registered and government authorized uh, immigration consultancy and if you go down you will be able to see all the reviews our center our pictures and after that you will be able to see we have 114 five star google reviews with god's grace we have zero negative review till today and 114 reviews you can read all the reviews guys is this screen is this screen is visible to all of you guys it says junior english yes yes okay yes, yes. so guys uh, if your company is having zero negative review and 100 plus positive five star reviews that means you are doing amazing so our focus is to provide value see if we'll satisfy you guys you'll definitely recommend us to 10 more people so that is the real worth for us